in the previous episode we made sure to get ready for the industrial age by getting a good supply of money and uh, getting a lot of iron and a blast furnace in this episode we are gonna upgrade our workbench make uh, industrial stuff and automate iron we need to start off by getting the new tier of workbench and because I already gathered a lot of iron in the previous episode we already have enough of that stone we got but maple wood is a different story so what I'm gonna do is harvest the uh, spinach over here to sell it to the merchant and uh, buy some maple saplings so we can gather maple wood and we just now got two extra spinach seeds so that is awesome what are the plans okay let's go okay so here we are let's have a look how expensive is a maple sapling a thousand coins oh we already have that almost okay so let's sell the spinach okay and then let's not sell all this is enough all right and then we can go back to buy seeds maple sapling perches okay so that was easy enough okay here we are and then let's plant this sapling like instead of this tree right here okay and then let's just wait for it to grow okay this is taking too long uh what we also need for this episode is an iron sword for some mobs so i'll just craft that because we have the stuff for it okay hey there it is okay so let's cut down the tree this is taking way longer than the other trees well what you, you gotta do what you gotta do all right so i'll be just here grinding uh just the totems the trees the plants and uh i'll give you a little time lapse oh my god no way uh i just got a crystallized iron which is like one in two thousand chance of dropping from iron ore this is amazing i didn't even grind for it like, we could use this for future machines or something, and then we don't have to grind. This is amazing. Look at it. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's a little something. Uh, back to the time lapse, I guess. Okay, and with that we have 20 maple wood and thereby enough to upgrade our workbench. Okay, let's open it up and there it is. Upgrade and, and upgrade. Oh my god, that looks really nice with a blueprint and a wrench and a toolbox. Let's have a look what we can make. This is what it's all about. The factory tab. The thing that will automate everything. But for these things, we need steel rods and iron. 
but mostly steel rods. Almost everything costs steel rods. And this is the industrial smelter, which is a key opponent for the iron farm. But we need pink sticky gears. And the only way to get pink sticky gears is by grinding slimes. When you grind slimes, there is a 25% chance that uh, a slime will drop a sticky gear. But for the pink sticky gear that we need, we need a pink slime. And there are three types of slimes. A green one, which is 80% uh, chance of spawning. A blue one, which is 15% chance of spawning. And a pink slime, uh, which is 5% chance of spawning. So the odds are really low to get a pink sticky gear. Now I, we already crafted the iron sword. But we still need the pink sticky gear. Now I will be doing that uh, in a minute. But now I'm smelting iron and steel for those steel rods which we need for the industrial smelter. So I will go to the hub. I will go to the slime island. And I will grind slime for the upcoming hour or so. So, see you there. So here we are. And um, I'll be doing this until we get a pink sticky gear. Yeah, I did this for a long time. Like, this is 100 times sped up. And in total, I think I spent 90 minutes on this. Which is extremely unlucky. Because you are supposed to get one in like 30 minutes. So, that's not cool. But I got it now. So here's my live reaction. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Finally. Oh my god. Put this back fast. Bro. For the iron farm, we need the pink sticky gear, which we got now, but we also need 8 steel rods, and uh, a steel rod is 20 steel per rod, so we need uh, 160 steel, and that is what I will be grinding, uh, and also uh, we need a little bit more for the conveyor belts. Uh, and that is basically it. So we're almost done. Okay, quick recap before I start the uh, last shot. Um, uh, while I've been grinding, I got two blast furnaces and two normal furnaces to smelt the iron. I've got... Uh, I have gotten 25 spinach seeds and uh, lastly I have uh, a conveyor belt and an industrial chest so that the clay totem, the iron and the coal totem were just putting their stuff on the conveyor belt instead of me having to mine it, which is 
way easier and uh yeah i i already had if uh seven of the eight um steel rods so uh now you know okay so now we have enough steel to craft the last steel rod we need and with that and the pink sticky gear we can craft the industrial smelter which is gonna be our key components for the iron farm where is it right here we can also craft this one which is kind of nice but we'll get to that maybe later so now we have the industrial smelter we need to tear this apart at least the clay totem like that and then the industrial chest we will move and then industrial smelter right here hello i hate it Bruh. right there and then let's just place the chest right there because what could go nah let's elevate it um <laughs> like that and th what and then we should have our iron farm it is still a bit small but we'll extend it later yeah look there goes the first iron ingots so now we get an infinite amount of iron ingots from this farm which is amazing because we will use it for a lot of stuff um i don't think we are gonna do that but uh, theoretically uh, if we reach forging level 40, we can uh, craft an input-output chest, which is basically uh, this chest, but with more storage. And if it is full, then it will dispense it onto another conveyor belt, so you can have a chain of uh, input-output chests, which is pretty handy, but... Uh, the forging this will also give us forging XP as you can see so we can just get that in a later episode and for now I will say peace love and iron